Connecting Dots. How are you today? This is Jazz, your speaker coordinator for the Canada chapter and your resident moonologer coming to you today with the moon flow for your business. So we are still in the Aquarius lunation cycle. We just had our full moon in Leo. How are you feeling after this full moon? Sometimes energies get a little bit crazy. Maybe you noticed because Leo, especially as a fire sign, maybe some tempers have flared, maybe some things have broken in your home or relationships, and maybe some anger flares have come up over the weekend. I know it's happened for us. Monday morning, my husband gets up, goes to work, and the car is broken. Now that's three cars in a row that are not functioning well in our household. So needless to say, my husband was not too happy about that. And there was anger everywhere. But knowing that this was a full moon in Leo, knowing how to respond to that, it was a lot easier to manage because I did not come at it from, you know, that anger perspective and reacting with perspective. That's one of the things that we learned in Reiki. You don't react to life, you respond to situations. It takes quite a bit of training, especially in your personal relationship, because sometimes you just want to wring the other person's neck, right? But when you know what the energy is around you, then you're more prepared for what can happen. It doesn't always, but the energy is ripe for a few things to happen. And then you're ready to respond to the situation instead of going into your stress self, into your stress mode and into reactive mode. Because when you're in reactive mode, you cannot find solutions to situations because you're just so tight and wound up by the being reactive. Your brain cannot think properly to find solutions. So that's one way that moonology really helps you manage your own well-being because you're aware of the energies that are around so you can make some changes that really help and go with the flow. If that makes sense to you. I'd love to talk to you about that more. So let's connect, all right? So this happened, okay? So new moon, the, the new moon, is Aquarius that's a cycle that's a lunation we're at halfway point with a full moon in Leo and this weekend the moon is um, currently in Libra and it's going to go into Scorpio over the weekend so what that means is right now with Libra especially after the full moon we're looking a little bit bit more of the shadow side of the sign and in my experience the shadow side of Libra is is a peacekeeper because Libra really wants harmony, wants beauty, but it's the peacekeeper at all costs. And so when Libra is in the shadow side, then it goes into people pleaser mode. And when you're in people pleaser mode, again, you don't do what's best for you, for your own personal growth, for your own well being. You don't necessarily do what's best for your business either because you're trying to please someone or trying to please an ideal whether it's how your business looks like for your mom, for your dad, um, what your business looks like for your coach or for your colleagues or for your clients, and you will bend over backward in all kinds of pretzels to please other people. And if you do that in your business, how are you feeling about that? Are you feeling joyful? Are you feeling empowered? Chances are you're not. And you might be starting to grow some deep dissatisfaction about your work. So this weekend, especially with the moon coming into Scorpio, and you know the Scorpio has that stinger, and it says, like, don't effing piss me off, because <laughs> Scorpios are deep feelers, but there's that stinger. And when that stinger is activated in you, because we all have Scorpio somewhere in our chart, this is when, you know, that anger energy from the full moon, that people pleaser energy right now from Libra, and everything's kind of simmering, and it's going to come out with a stinger onto something that you probably don't want it to come out on. So take some time this weekend, you know, starting now, and really evaluate where in your life, especially your business, where are you still in people pleaser mode? And because we're also in the Aquarius season, and Aquarius is about 
innovation and it's about your technology. So how is that people pleaser archetype showing up for you in your email system? How is it showing up for you on your website? How is it showing up for you in all the ways in which you interact with your clients via technology? You know, your schedule booking, everything. Now review that with the Leo energy as well, which is letting myself shine. So the words that you have on your website, your booking system, la da da, are they really your words? Does your personality change through? What can you change to make it more authentically you? And removing the people pleaser aspect because you will not please everyone. That's like, right, like business 101 with the niching down. It's like you cannot please everyone. So see that maybe you want to use vocabulary that is very specific to the people that you want to attract, even if it pisses some other people off, right? Because you cannot please everyone. You have to please the clients that are ideally aligned to you, that you will happily serve, that will respect your boundaries, that where you will be able to do a really deep transformation and where you will derive great satisfaction from your work because you will be shining in your gifts in your life. So we need to start releasing everything that is not that. Does that make sense? Does that resonate with you? If it does, please let me know in the comments. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. And if you want to know more and go deeper into that, you can book always a Moonology session or check the links that I've put in the comments below because I'm just so proud that I now have two journals on Amazon. Writing has been a dream of mine since I was at least seven years old and I've never done anything about it until now and I have two journals published on Amazon. So please check them out. There's more um, insightful, deep questions in there for you to plumb the depths of your inner self so that you can shine and create your amazing life in business. Big, big love from my heart to yours and see you soon. Bye for now.